Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to finish our look at 4Play Long Time by Boston. So um, this is going to be the main solo that we'll take a look at here. Then a couple variations in the uh, rhythm parts that we've already learned, uh, especially the acoustic part, which is now played on the electric at the end of the song. It's a slight variation, and then we'll be done. So let's take a look here. We're going to be at the 11th fret on the B string, whole step in, then another whole step in, and just keep going past that whole step until you pretty much can bail yourself out by doing a kind of a pick scrape across the couple bottom strings. So now it makes it to that note, a high, uh, the, the whole step bend at the 16th fret on the high E string. Now in between there, when he's getting to that note, there's a couple of noises there. There's an open B, and then there's a B flat note played at the 15th, um, I'm sorry, the 13th fret on the A string. So if you just want to do it for completeness sake, it's there, but it's probably just kind of a, a mistake while he's getting up there to the, the 16th fret there. All right, then we have this uh, first main lick. All right, so what's going on there? We're gonna be having a kind of a basic blues lick. Whole step into the 15th fret on the G into the 13th fret on the B. So I'm just doing two downstrokes there and then I'll do a pulling off from 16 to 13 with an upstroke on the B string. So do that four times. And then you're just gonna be doing a more uh, simplistic version of it. Just doing the 15 without the bend and do the 13, just two downstrokes again. And when you play that 13, hammer on 16 and pull off to 13. That's when he really starts cranking up the speed. Then he does the thing where you can actually do it with a tremolo bar if you want to do it like that, or you can just descend the lick. Just continue a trill and just between 13, 16, then 12, 15. And 11, and then 14, and 10, 13. Just kind of taking it. I think it sounds cooler like that, so I did it like that. Next phrase. All right, so that's sliding to the 16 on the B, to the 15 on the high E, to the 18 on the B. Two whole step bends there at the 18th on the high E. Then the 20th fret on the high E string, whole step bends. So it was a bend, release, back pre-bend, and then do another bend. All right, now we have this uh, D minor pentatonic lick. All right, so that one's uh, kind of moves across pretty quick. Let's just start with the first fret there on the, I'm um, sorry, the first note here at the 10th fret on the high E string. Then you need to pull off 13, 10 on the high E and on the B. And then you can do a whole step in at the 13th fret on the B over to the 10th fret on the high E again and pull off 13 to 12. I'm sorry, 13 to 10. So we have this. One more time. All right, now. So now we're gonna do the same thing here. A whole step in at the 12th fret on the G to 10. And then we're gonna just do a simple pull off from 12 to 10 on the G, 12 to 10 on the D, and then again, 12, 10 on the D, 12, 10 on the A. Come down here, 
10 8 on the A and then 10 8 on the low E and result finish it there at the 8th fret on the A string. All right, now we have a lot of kind of um, a lot of delays and uh, we're just going to be hanging out on this B flat note here, the first fret on the A string. Put a lot of trim work there, just kind of creating noise. At one point he slides into the third fret, and back down to the first. And that just leads into playing the note at the third fret on the D string. All right, now we're gonna make our way down to this low F, so we're just gonna grab that B flat again, and then down to the first fret on the low string. More uh, kind of vibrato work. All right, now we're gonna quickly pick across. This is a lot of, it's kind of a noisy section, so it's kind of hard to pick that up. But just listen for it in there. Then we're gonna have three on the five, four on, um, three on the four. So, I'm sorry, three on the A string, three on the D string, that'll be easier to understand. Then one on the G. Jump up here to the fifth fret on the G and do a trill between five and seven with some more bar work on it. All right, now we're gonna be doing a whole step bend at the eighth fret on the G. Pick it again, and then pick it normal, then pre-bend. Kind of does a bend. So with that one note, you just wanna make it sound like You just don't wanna hear those releases there. And then, and then we kind of do the same thing, but we bend from the third fret up all set. Three normal, three bend, and then back. All right, now we get to end the solo with uh, power chords here on the low E string. One, three, four. Then again. Now, four, six, eight. And then one more time. And the end of the solo. Just the 20th fret there with some vibrato on, on the high string. All right, so we go back through the same verse after that and the same chords, same sections we did before. The only thing that's different is that acoustic section that we did earlier sounded like this. It's pretty much the exact same thing, just on a distorted electric guitar, when he's playing by himself at least. When the band comes in, we're gonna start adding one chord in there. We're gonna do this. So you can see that was the same chords. But on the way back up, I just play that, that same major chord that was at the sixth fret and take it back up to the beginning. Now, as they're cranking out on this, there is that alto section solo that's kind of, uh, kind of just faded out. All they're really doing there, they start with a uh, bend at the um, 18th fret on the high E string, then a 13th fret on the B. And he's just kind of doing that same trill we did earlier, and just what you're going to want to do is just kind of improvise around on the that D minor pentatonic shape. That's all he's doing there, but it fades out so fast it's really hard to pick up anything except those two bends. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look at Four Play, a uh, long time by Boston. It's really cool. Got a lot of cool guitar parts, lots of solos. So hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com. Bye bye.